Okay, hello everyone. Okay, I have already uh, launched my Microsoft Access on the screen. All right, it's a blank database. Okay, and as you can see, you have something that looks like a Excel spreadsheet on the screen, but that is not what we are going to use today. Right. So today we want to actually go into the design view. Right, which is this the design view itself so I'm gonna click this All right so you asked me for a table name doesn't matter I will just okay on this because we are not interested in the table and we will go into the design view all right so it looks like this the first view is the primary key ID I'm gonna ignore this at this current moment uh, I'm just going to go into the second row and the data type. Okay. As you can see, there are quite a number of data type, right, which we can't cover everything in this short session. Okay, So I'm just going to look at the one that give a lot of problem, which is number. So I'm going to click this number. Alright, so now it's number up here. Okay. But as you can see, once you have the data type set as number, right, there is a diff a properties down here, which is a few properties. Right, this part here. And you will be automatically set to long integer. Okay, so what is actually this long integer? Well, uh, long integer has no fraction, right, so there is no decimal, okay, so they are whole number, right, and it is designed to store long integer itself, okay, how long can it actually be 10 digit positive negative number, right, uh, it's about 2 billion. All right, 2 billion. Uh, do you actually need this? Well, it depends. There are others beside your long integer. You also have your regular just integer. All right. If you choose regular integer, okay, uh, you are only going to have the same thing, no fraction. You have positive negative number, but about 32,000. And if you choose buy, okay, what will happen is you will have positive number 0 to 255 and no fraction. Right, so it gets from long and it gets shorter range, smaller range, and so forth. Right, but by default, you will actually be set to long integer. Okay, but what happens if you want to have fractions decimal well then you can't use all these integers up here then you will have to go for either a single all right which has a uh, six digit of precision it also support positive negative number but six digit of position okay you can go for double ten digit of position again positive negative number all right uh, actually i don't use replication id okay and the one that uh, you can do a lot of customization is the decimal decimal basically allow you a uh, better control on the number of precision or the number of decimal that you actually want all right and each one of it has its own set of few properties okay so normally okay uh, it will be long integer or it will be actually decimal then of course you have to set the scale the precision and whatever else that you actually need to do right. so this is how you actually work with the number data type in Microsoft SS.